Yeah. Have you got any thoughts about the Nepo Carlson match? Yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be very close actually. Um, I think a lot of people they've been saying okay, it depends whether Nepomniachtchi comes psychologically, whether he's I mean whether he's stable, whether he's uh, whether he can deal with the the pressures that come from the intensity of those matches. But I actually think he's going to. I mean, he showed it in the last um, half of the candidates. He's more stable than ever. He knows how like he's added that solidity to the game that he previously didn't have. And I do think a lot of it will come down to how well Magnus prepares. Um, I've been fortunate, fortunate enough to spend a bit of time with him here and I'm not sure he's as focused as he has been in recent years. So, um, do you think we're going to get decisive games in the standard phase of the, of the match? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I mean, yeah, much as I enjoyed, uh, you know, Kariak and Carlson and uh, Karan and Carlson is... Um, there were times when it was clear the format or the kind of the risks involved were weighing heavily on their minds. And mm. um, I think even the two decisive games in Kariak and Carlson, it was, it was already showing that nerves were jangling and the stakes are just that high. But there's something about Napomni actually style and Carlson, um, just having grown up with both of them. And um, I can't see there being 14 draws in the, <laughs> in the classical part. I think... If if well if Carlson takes the lead, I think probably um, he will be able to guide it guide it home. He's very good at playing safety first chess and kind of uh, playing on his own own terms. He studies the end game a lot. Um, every time I see him at his flat, he's always got a study on his board. He's like solve it. <laughs> um, so he's he's extremely kind of diligent with that stuff. But if Napoli actually can take the lead, on the other hand, maybe if he hits Magnus with an opening surprise or if you can do that, Napomi actually think of kind of gaining momentum, playing super quickly. Then I think psychologically, Carlson is more fragile than um, he has been in previous matches, at least. So I'm hoping it's going to be more exciting than the last couple of matches. But um, it, I, I can't predict a winner. Actually, I think Napomi actually has got and maybe even more of a chance than um, Anand Karyakin. Maybe he's more motivated. More motivated, yeah, and. Yeah. Um, and he knows Carlson better than any of those, those others did. So um, he'll know his strengths, his weaknesses, and that's always a big thing in a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one matches. Thank you. No, we'll see. Hopefully it's a fun one <laughs> to follow.